Texas TCU. Let's dive into that one right quick. Uh, 32 to 27, Texas gets the W, and this game was over with that targeting call that was not called on the field. But so, so remind me how this went down. It was they, like Gary one of Patterson the first drives of the game. So they they held Texas to a fourth down. They had to punt from inside like their own ten yard line or something like that, yeah. and. And they had to call a timeout. Gary Patterson had to because they only they, had nine they, guys on the field. Yeah, I was about to say they didn't even have ten. They only had nine yeah. guys on the field. So they call a timeout. And when they call the timeout, that gives the refs time to go back and review what happened on the play before. They call targeting. They kick TJ Carter out of the game, who is a, a transfer in from Memphis, fantastic safety. Like he, once he was gone, you knew that that game was pretty much done. And then they allowed Texas to drive down the field on that same drive. Like it, you had them stopped, and you had the ball back with a lead. And and they just, it, I mean, mistakes. It, it was exactly what, what we talked about on the show last week, where everything that Texas is good at on offense is it's what TCU is bad at stopping, and they're especially bad when their best safety is out of the ballgame. So this was a, a train wreck. I thought TCU was going to be way better. Well, the biggest issue is, so that sucked and that hurt, and Texas's offense is really good, and they're hard to stop to begin with. The biggest issue is, is TCU could not score the second half of the game. Yes. Yes. 100%. Uh, Texas offense, offense looked was- fine. Offense looked great. They had things rolling, moving. I'm trying to find the breakdown. And they get into the second half of this thing. And, and they just, yeah, they've got, they've got 17 points going into halftime. And, I mean, they basically get a garbage time touchdown at the very end of the game. Yeah, with four minutes left when the game's out of hand, basically is the next time that they find the end zone. I don't understand why they don't run Zach Evans more. I don't I don't know either. I, I can't I understand not. this offense. There are to, there are drives when this offense looks unbelievable. And there are drives when this offense just looks like they don't know what in the hell they're doing. Uh, Modest Cowboy jumped in on the chat. He said, Texas next two weeks will prove they're the best team in the Big 12. Uh, obviously, Red River is this weekend. And then they've got Oklahoma State the week after that. And then, of course, it, it's not just the next two weeks. It's it's the next four weeks because you got a gauntlet coming up. you got Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, then a bye week at Baylor and at Iowa State. Like this, Texas is about to go through it. They are about to go through it. So we uh, we talked about this part of the schedule uh, in the off season, and if you can get through this, you know, without taking another another L, uh, Casey Thompson did not look good in this game for the first time since he took over the starting job. Twelve out of twenty two, one hundred forty two yards, one touchdown, one pick. But Bijan Robinson took over thirty five carries, two hundred sixteen yards, that six point two a clip, two touchdowns, uh, just unreal. And Zach Evans only got the ball fifteen times, but ran for one hundred thirteen yards. That's seven and a half a clip. And one touchdown. Had a long of 33 in this game. They, I, I just don't understand why they don't use him more. Because they couldn't stop him. Couldn't stop him. It, it's like uh, it's like when Georgia was playing LSU and they, they refused to run Holyfield even though he was like, getting eight yards every time he touched the ball. Like, yes. Like, what are we doing? Like, you know yes. what works. Just run yeah, it. They, they, they just kept putting Swift in. That LSU defense just kept just busting his ass. Uh, it's un- unreal. Unreal. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.